Okay, YouTube family, the connections with this got worse, man. This just hit a fan real fast and people can't get out of it, man. The drama with CMG and the Yo Gotti situation just hit a left turn. And baby, that thing can't go back right if you put fixer glue on it. You hear me? That thing been shifted and it's gone, man. The pre cmg saga just went even more wild man with big juke allegedly being arrested for the situation and everybody finding out between a lot of cash desto's dad being arrested all all the way to her dad involvement in the case and people connecting two and two together with big juke and javon hernandez which is a lot of cash dad but man this thing just hit a left turn cops is going wild in it everybody's going wild in the case and the news of this bro like we we got to talk about it will feds and them come after cmg and yo Gotti after his brother and in the connections with this third suspect because they got the third suspect as the master planner before we get started let's hit that like button hit that notification bell thank you for rocking out with the i smoke hip-hop movement show some love to pesh mayweather right quick go subscribe to the man's youtube channel right quick and show some love the trail way the right way now yo Gotti thing been spawning out of control too many connections in this case got people booming and feeling uncomfortable and it's like with the dad already blaming himself for his daughter a lot of cash desto's death people claiming that yo Gotti is being targeted right now by young dolphin them folks they're wiping out anybody who had anything involved with and it makes sense because the police is saying lot of cash dad was the head honcho in this he was the one who planned everything let, 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 let's get it destiny right govin houston police say the 25 year old was shot and killed in houston september 24th early that morning. Investigators say Govan and her friend were in their vehicle, stopped behind a vehicle at a traffic light. Police say two men got out of the vehicle and started shooting at the women. We're told the passenger was also shot but survived her injuries and Lotta Cash Desto was signed to Lil Uzi Vert. He spoke at her funeral. I had gotten some trouble and they put me away and I had to, um, I had to go to a program and all that. I had to go to a um, rehab program, all that. I showed the full video of Little Uzi speaking at her funeral, but y'all, y'all need to catch up. No pun intended, but they had a lot of suspects in these case, and a lot of people think Straight Drop and all these other cohorts are gonna definitely snitch because of the new people involved in this, and they're definitely gonna say a whole lot in this Dolph case. Now, what's going on in the mix is all the connections, and everything is leading back to Yo Gotti, unfortunately. This ain't me dry snitching or doing nothing. This is what the news is actually bringing up about the history of this Confirm third suspect. Hernandez Govan is the man who ordered the murder of Young Dolph. November 17th, 2021, two men are seen in this video opening fire outside of Makita's Cookies. Inside that store was Memphis rapper Young Dolph. It would take just a couple of weeks for the first arrest to happen in his murder. Cornelia Smith was arrested in December in DeSoto County. Then in January of this year. Remember, Cornelia Smith was like the only one who got a good attorney. All these other folks got some janky promoter type attorneys. I know it's not if I know they will flip very soon. Trust me. Justin Johnson was arrested in Indiana. Now there has been a third arrest. So what's the connection between these three men? There hasn't been a third arrest. There's been multiple arrests. The news got this one wrong a little bit. If you guys don't remember, Teron Ingram also was arrested for the situation. They got fam too. Um, there was breaking down his case and, and, and the situation. If y'all need to go back to that a little bit later. And also, Shondell Barnett was arrested too, but the Indiana facilities let him go through some legality situation. And that man went ghost. He ain't never been found yet at all, y'all. Who did what? Justin Johnson and Cornelius Smith are we allege the two shooters? They are the people that are captured on the video that was released publicly a while back showing the actual shooting. 
That video was released by Memphis police the day after the shooting. You can see in the photos two people standing holding guns aimed at Makita's. Also in those photos, a picture of a white Mercedes Benz that police say was the car used in the crime. Now, almost a year later, a third man has been arrested, Hernandez Govan. The uh, new indictment, the new suspect, Mr. Govan, we allege was the person who put the now we already know they're tying him to yo Gotti, yo Gotti's brother allegedly yo Gotti brother was arrested too but we have to say allegedly i don't see a formal news of that but this already looked damaging enough bad enough and the connections run too deep with the folks in them bro it runs so deep that people are already going off their own uh, conspiracy theories about the situation people are running are already running crazy because Shelby's County District Attorney Steve Murray told Fox 13 that Javon is the one who solicited the murder. Uh, uh, um, basically, he planned it. He's the guy who put everything together. He got straight dropping Cornelius Smith in it at Macadia's homemade butter cookies on November 17. And not only that, things get worse because everybody is saying that all them folks have openly connections to yo Gotti, all the way from straight drop to cornelius shondell barnett all the way in indiana all the way to a lot of cash desto who's the we know that already the daughter of mr javon hernandez and this thing right here is gonna open a a a, a wormhole that's gonna let us go deeper into that rabbit hole man so on S september 24th a lot of cash desto whose real name is destine javon was uh, um, basically killed in the Houston areas and people are blaming you feel me uh, uh, young Dolph's folks for doing that hit over there you know what I mean so a lot of people are tying two together I mean the man actually blamed the death of his daughter on himself if y'all don't know this was what he said on the situation with the news that is Houston police appears it was shot from both directions this could be a road rage we just don't know we don't have any information about motive at this time. It could be road rage, could have been a robbery. Uh, we just don't know. We don't have enough information. They didn't have no motive of that situation, but we know Jay Prince runs Houston. I'm going to leave that one alone, but you can figure out some things. And I'm not saying he has anything to do with it, but she got murked in Houston and people knew her whereabouts and how she moved you heard what the officer said we have no motives to it and they don't know what happened with it even folks when it first happened was like why did she get killed what's going on now the car and vehicle that was linked to it remember the white bins well the white bins the dna and all that they got breaking news and i already know what they're gonna say they're tying that bins also to javon yes ladies and gentlemen that white bins was tied to so many people even people at a high school game shooting that killed a a a, a lady which was was unfortunate as well so a lot of people in this situation is about to face the burden of the truth and what actually happened to young Dolph and them folks ain't saying nothing let's just be real how we know they're gonna come for young Dolph I mean they're coming for yo Gotti because they they claim they're not releasing new information on this case they're gonna keep it to themselves and they're not gonna say what records really show on. he pled not guilty and Fox 13 is working to learn more on if he was sentenced for that case in November of 2003 Govan was charged with possession of a controlled substance and pled guilty. Then in April 2008, he pled guilty to aggravated assault. But Fox 13 News at 10 will continue to look into just who Govan is and share his connection to another rapper killed in Houston this year. Man, the connections go way too deep, man. I'm your guy, DJ Bless One. Love your family, love your kids, and definitely stay blessed, man. Hit that like button, that notification bell. Come rock out with the movement, man. Salute.